Hello everybody. Welcome to Live from East Nashville Studios episode number six. It has been a while. I apologize for my hiatus. No excuse other than I just got lazy, I got busy, and I'm really bad at sticking with things. But back to episode one, triumph over fear. Put yourself out there. I'm back for episode six and I have a new coffee mug. So, what do we need to talk about? Well, a lot has happened since the last time I posted a proper Live from East Nashville Studios video. Uh, for example, Nashville was hit by a tornado. Old news at this point, but let me tell you folks, I can look out the window and it looks like it happened just yesterday. Um, it landed 50 yards from us um, and I can look at the corner and there's still tarps up and the houses that are have no roofs and there's trees missing and, and when you walk out back there it, the quarantine isn't helping the whole apocalyptic feel of this part of town currently um, but I will say we were very fortunate personally uh, our place was fine our neighbors houses immediately around us were fine um, but but there's a lot of beautiful things that can take place from a disaster like that I know that seems crazy but um, the togetherness and and the camaraderie and and just the amount of strangers that that came into our neighborhood and of course we were there trying to help out too you know but um guys it was it was pretty pretty dang amazing and i'm just so proud of this community um the cleanup has a long ways to go but that's for the professionals at this point that's like the big stuff that's where the guys have to come in and really fix these structures and uh but we had no power for about a week, Lauren and I. Our buddy Ian, AKA Llama Lamp from the Twitch stream, if you're familiar with me on Twitch, um, he hooked us up with some lanterns and some camping gear. And so we would hang out at their house during the day and try to be productive. And then we'd come back here and pretty much glamp in the evenings here in the house. And uh, other than being a little cold, it was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I love having electricity back though. I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it's cool to have it back. Um, but yes, we survived the tornado, a lot of fun and excitement there. We had a few days of normal life, and then we had the shelter-in-place order come in. And um, going through a tornado and now a pandemic, it's, it's a very interesting time for all of us here on Earth. You know, as a songwriter, um, my day-to-day -day life is definitely a little different. I'm not leaving the house to write with people now. Um, and that's, that's a different kind of mental workflow now. That means I either have to do it all myself, which some days you show up and inspiration's not in the room with you, um, or you do what I'm gonna do later today, which is hop on Zoom, which is kind of like Skype, but a little bit better, I think. It's kind of cool. Um, and, and you just co-write online, which is, uh, which is fun. That's a different type of, of workflow as well. But we'll just have to get used to it because that might be the new norm for a while. Um, but yeah, across the board, though, a lot of, you know, a lot of us aren't able to leave the house and perform anymore. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're me. It doesn't matter if you're a guy playing a coffee shop in Seattle. It doesn't matter if you're home free or Jake on. We're all at the house right now. And all we can do is give you music from our couches or our 20 square foot man caves whatever the case might be. The world has taken a hit financially. Um, the arts community, uh, we're, there's a lot of us that are hurting out there. Um, and there's different organizations that you can go through to help out. One of them is called Music Cares Alliance, I think is what it's called. I probably should have researched that beforehand. Um, and these are all great organizations that have been in place for a long time. And they're, they're there to help those of us in the community um, you know, who might get like an unexpected medical bill or something crazy happens, you know, and, and you're in a pinch, you know, that fund is there to help. The problem is we're all in the same boat now. So um, those funds are very, very limited. But um, I'm telling you all this because when one door closes, another one opens. Um, I have a really, really great friend named Chester McCurry in LA, and he's like a brother to me and, and he really, really is. I've known him for, God, probably 20 years now or something crazy like that. And uh, 
He shot me a text last week and he said, hey, I'm producing a live stream show and I need a theme song really quick. Can you help me out? And so I took a look at my um, recently uh, sparse calendar and I was like, well, as a matter of fact, I have plenty of time in my hands, Chester. What can I do for you? So I received it. Tell me about this show. So it benefits the Actors Fund and the Actors Fund is um, an organization similar to the Music Cares where it's just a big fund not just for actors though, the name can be deceiving. It's actually for everyone in the arts community across the board. Actors, singers, dancers, opera, ballet, burlesque. I have no idea, maybe, I don't know. I haven't looked that deep into it. Possibly, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, but Chester told me about this show and guys, it ended up being a pretty cool thing to be a part of. So it is hosted by a lady named Emily Hampshire. And Emily plays the role of Stevie Bud from Schitt's Creek, if you're familiar with that Netflix series. So um, the name of the series is Hunt Day with Hampshire, and it will be every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, and if you guys want to tune in, it debuts tomorrow on YouTube, and I will put the link in the show description here. But it was a really, really cool experience. Um, I got to FaceTime with Emily and we kind of wrote the jingle together. And if you guys tune in tomorrow or at any time, it'll be on YouTube. Um, but the music playing behind the intro is a song that we wrote and I recorded everything right here on this little laptop. Um, and, and it's pretty cool to be a part of something like that. There's gonna be some pretty sick guests on there. That, I don't mean like sick as in like, not feeling well. Maybe I should just rephrase that all together. There's going to be a lot of really cool guests on there. Uh, there's going to be actors from Shit's Creek. There's going to be friends of hers, you know, and I think the premise of the show is she's literally just going to be video conferencing with friends of hers uh, from their houses because we're all kind of in lockdown together right now. Um, I'm just really thankful to be a part of it and um, as a writer and an artist, it's just cool how random life can be and how things just pop up from time to time. But uh, anyway, I would love if you guys watched that. All the money raised by the viewers on YouTube that goes towards the Actors Fund. Um, if you want to donate and be a part of that, go for it. But if you just want to be really entertained, uh, I'm really excited to see it. Plus, you get to hear my song. I'm pretty excited about that. This week, also have a brand new single coming out on Friday called Nothing New. And I'll have another live from East Nashville Studios uh, video coming out shortly, which is the story of how that song was written. Um, but yeah, that's about it for episode six here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging in there. And uh, you all have been subscribing like crazy, even though I haven't posted a lot. But we're back. I have no excuse. I have plenty of time. I'm just writing songs and making videos now. Oh, and I also play games on Thursday nights on Twitch. Oh, and I'm also going to be uh, possibly launching a stay-at-home tour 2020. <sighs> That's right. There it is, folks, the big reveal. I wasn't going to say anything about it, but I did. And I could edit this out, but I might, I might as well just go with it. Um, yeah, so I've done a couple of live Twitch streams from here, live in East Nashville Studios, and I thought, you know what? I could take this show on the road and go to different rooms in my house. So I'm gonna get like a list together, a schedule of when and what platform we'll be on and what room I'll be at. Uh, but yeah, live from East Nashville Studios, live from the living room, live from Lauren's studio, live from the bedroom. <laughs> a lot of love songs. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Thank y'all for watching, take care. Best to all of you. Wash your hands, wash your beard. Uh, yeah.